So Facebook advertising can be so tough, right? It's so confusing and challenging and there's so much to get your head around. Well, in this video, I share an interview I had with a social media strategist and her top tips for Facebook advertising. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kate Emily, a content marketing strategist, and I focus on helping you build your brand online. So on my channel, I share lots of videos and tutorials about social media, content strategy, brand storytelling, productivity, and all those good things. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and so you can be notified when my next video goes live. So in this video, I'll be sharing my interview with Ali, who is the founder of Society State, a social media marketing company. Um, and she shares her top tips for Facebook advertising. I know I've done Facebook advertising before in corporate land and I found it really challenging to get my head around the complexity of it. So in this video, she'll be sharing her top tips, which I think are going to help you so much. Hi, Ali. I'm so excited to have you on my channel. Um, we're going to be talking about Facebook ads today. And I know it's something that a lot of small business owners and solopreneurs really struggle with. Um, so how Ali and I met was basically through my old business, Chief Active. Um, so she used to work for a healthy lifestyle brand and I owned a healthy lifestyle platform. And that's how we connected. Um, but since then, she's uh, started her own social media management business, um, Society State, and she's actually made the leap to full-time work. So tell me a bit about your story, Ali. <laughs> no problem. So yeah, hi, everyone. My name's Ali. Um, so I started my business uh, this time last year. So I'm officially one years old, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, no longer a baby and <laughs> making those toddler steps, but um, yeah, I love my little business and that I've, you know, what I've grown it into today. I do everything from social media management to help um, helping businesses look after their Facebook advertising. Um, I look after strategy development, um, training and coaching, um, but all within the sort of digital and um, social media space. So, um, yeah, I do have a lot of experience um, with a lot of different brands. So it's great to have that generalist marketing knowledge and to be able to bring that um, into businesses, um, supporting their social media is, is awesome. Amazing. So cool. So why did you start a business in social media marketing specifically? Like you've obviously got the experience in lots of different areas. Why did you focus on that? Yeah. Um, so it's just the way the business is going these days. Um, so many businesses are making that shift to social media, um, but they just don't have the knowledge. Um, social media in a sense changes daily. Um, there's always updates and um, algorithms changing and things. So, you know, having a um, somebody, a specialist come on board and um, help small businesses out in that aspect is great because, you know, lots of small business owners struggle for time and resources. Um, so, you know, having a social media consultant or somebody to help you with some training or updates um, I think is vital in today's, you know, business age um, and, you know, being able to stay abreast of all the changes um, is, you know, you need to do it. So what do you love most about working in that space? Um, I love, I love the changes. I think it's fantastic. Like being able to see, um, you know, for example, when I finished my university degree um, some 10 plus years ago, um, Facebook was only just starting as a personal social media platform. Um, so when I finished uni, I was jumping onto Facebook and finding out, you know, what my friends were up to. I was posting my status updates, sharing my, you know, party photos and things like that. But, you know, to what it is today, you, it's an, it's a totally different beast. So for me, that's what I love about it, that it is ever changing and it allows me to keep learning. Um, you know, while I did finish uni some 10 plus years ago, um, the way that, you know, Google and the internet works today, I can jump on there and find out how to do something just like that. And I love that. Like I'm forever, um, you know, researching things, finding out the latest trends. So um, that's what I'll, yeah, that's my favorite part of the job. So good. So 
obviously in this video we're wanting to talk about Facebook advertising specifically. So why do you think it's so important for businesses to get on board with Facebook ads and how does it how does it grow businesses online? Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, as you know, and I'm sure you know, some of your clients have come across that organic reach on social media is just getting harder. Um, it's so hard to get that cut through um, and brands are just really struggling. Um, and, you know, more recently I'm starting to get more and more inquiries about Facebook ads. Um, a lot of businesses are coming to me going, you know, I've been spending X amount of money. I'm not getting results. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I think the biggest reason that businesses should be using Facebook ads is because people are spending more time online. Um, I've got a stat here and I love it. It's, um, let me just read off it. It's, um, so almost two thirds of users um, in Australia check social media while watching TV. So for example, um, you know, these days, if you are watching, you know, free to air TV, um, you know, you often check your, your phone in the ad breaks. So you're not actually consuming traditional advertising, you know, People are spending more time on the internet. They're not reading newspapers. They're not reading magazines. Um, and you just bypass those ads. So um, by getting your business in front of people's um, social media platforms where they're spending majority of their time, um, that's why businesses need to be on Facebook because you need to be where your audience is consuming media and that today is, is social media. Yeah, perfect. And, I mean, I don't know if you've ever had much experience with TV ads, but they're a lot more expensive than Facebook ads, just a little bit. Just a smidge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's one of the great things about Facebook ads is that, um, you know, they're so fast and, and budget-friendly. You can pop up an ad today and be driving traffic to your website straight away, you know, for as little as, you know, $10, $50. So, yep, the sky's the limit. <laughs> What would you say is the sort of average budget that people are sort of spending on Facebook ads or what do your clients usually spend? Yeah, look, it totally varies on the business. Um, but, you know, at a minimum, I would say that um, for businesses wanting to get some sort of, um, you know, conversions um, and action, I would say a minimum of $10 a day just for one campaign. Um, you know, I've had other businesses spend, you know, 12 grand over six months, um, you know, other smaller businesses spending, say, $400 a month. So it does vary quite, quite drastically. Um, and we'll be seeing um, with Black Friday sales, there's lots of businesses using Facebook ads um, and their budgets can skyrocket over these periods of time. So um, obviously the budget is dependent on, you know, your advertising budget overall. Um, but, yeah, do keep in mind those times of year um, and your ads um, objectives um, because that will help um, decide your budget as well. So just want to take one little step back. You said campaigns. So what do you mean when you say um, a Facebook campaign? What does that sort of look like? Yep. So uh, Facebook ads um, for the beginner are set up into uh, three sort of categories. So you start with your ads campaign. So that is based on your objective, whether that's to, um, you know, build awareness, um, whether that's to, um, you know, follow through to conversions, um, that's where you set your, your ad campaign goals, um, your objectives. And then that follows through down to your ad set level, which um, in layman's terms is basically your audience. So you can have one campaign running but targeting different audiences. Um, and then under those audiences you can be delivering the same ads, different ads. So that's basically how um, Facebook Ads Manager is set up. Um, and I definitely recommend getting into Facebook Ads Manager rather than hitting that boost button on um, on Facebook um, itself. Why is that? Why don't you think the boost button doesn't really work so well? It's such an easy one to just go, yep, I'll just boost this for $10. Do that. Yeah, so basically what you're telling Facebook is you just want to get that post in front of more people. Um, you're not telling Facebook who to deliver that um that boosted post to, um, you're, you're not telling them to optimise it for conversions or for website traffic, basically just saying get this in front of as many eyeballs as you can. So um, there's no strategy behind it um, and, you know, it's a waste of money. I see it because Facebook Ads Manager, you can get so 
detailed with your targeting, um, your messaging and your audience delivery as well. So what do you think are one of the biggest sort of challenges for small businesses when it comes to Facebook advertising? Yeah, so um, I think there's there's a few different ways that, you know, reasons why why businesses come to me for help. Um, the first one is is not understanding Facebook Ads Manager and, and thinking that they can just boost those ads and get the results that they want. Um, so for me, it comes down to training and education pretty much um, and, and giving them an opportunity to understand how powerful Facebook Ads um, Manager can be um, and how that can better perform um, for their, their business. Um, the other problems I see businesses facing is with, you know, problems with the creative and the copy. Um, and the, the third one would be is not understanding their audiences. Now, most businesses will know, you know, who buys from them, um, you know, obviously their age demographic, um, you know, some location targeting um, and their gender. But you know, they don't generally think too much about interests and behaviours. Um, and when it comes to Facebook ads, you know, that's such a powerful tool to target your ads to. Um, but it also comes down to um, custom, your custom audiences as well. Um, and a lot of businesses totally overlook this. Um, and that's one of the best ways to, to convert um, sales as well, targeting your custom audiences. Cool. So as a, a Facebook ads manager, how do you figure out what those custom audiences are? Yeah. So um, generally when I sit down with a client, I um, will find out um, obviously about their business, what products or services they offer. Um, you know, I send them a questionnaire and I find out exactly who their target audience is, what, what their current customer looks like. Um, I give them quite a detailed questionnaire to find out as much about their audience as possible. Um, I'll then sort of develop a matrix that, um, you know, divides up their audiences into um, like a sales funnel. So whether they're hot, warm or cool. Um, and then I'll populate that with their custom audiences and lookalike audiences. So, you know, a custom audience could be as simple as your website visitors in the last 30 days. So, it can be as simple as that or you can get super complex with it as well. Cool, cool. So if someone was coming to you for the first time, like what does that process look like? You've touched on it a little bit there, but um, where, where do you kind of take your consulting with them um, once they make a contact with you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do have a couple of options. Um, you know, at the moment I'm doing a Facebook ads audit for a business um, and then I'll deliver some training to them. Um, because they've got a, a social media manager that can probably do that themselves. So um, that's one avenue that I go down. The other one, which is the more popular one, is um, actually managing their ads um, on a month-to-month -month basis. So when a business first comes to me, I will then um, give them a whole bunch of onboarding documents. So make sure they fill out a questionnaire. Um, they allow me access to their Facebook ads manager um, I'll then jump into their website and make sure that the um, Facebook pixel is firing, all the conversion events are happening, all that techie stuff that a lot of small businesses get hung up on. Um, I'm totally able to help out with that. Um, yeah, we'll have a sort of a discovery meeting or a call wherever they're based um, and we'll go through yeah, their business, their business goals um, and how that relates to their Facebook ad strategy. Um, I'll then develop a, a Facebook ad strategy, set up all their audiences for them um, in the back end, and then I'll go about doing a monthly plan. So um, we have monthly meetings. Um, we go through a monthly plan each month to decide what sort of ads we'll be running, who we'll be targeting, what the creative and copy looks like. And then each month I get to manage it all for them. So it's all out of their hands um, and I'll do a monthly report as well. So yeah, it's, it's lots of fun. It seems like a lot of work too. Like it's definitely a, a very involved um, area that I think a lot of businesses would be struggling with. So if they were going to go out and do it on their own, what would you say are five tips or five, you know, things that they really should know before starting any Facebook ad campaign? Yeah. So that's a really great, great question. Um, I mean, the first one would be is knowing their their audiences um, and how they fit within the sales funnel. 
Um, the second one would be is having a look at um, their landing pages for their website, um, whether that's a product or a service-based business. It's super important because there's no point in setting up Facebook ads and delivering them if they're not going to convert on the other end. Um, the third thing would be is making sure you've also got a social media strategy in place. Um, you know, a lot of people, um, there's stats around it that, you know, even if you've got Facebook ads running, people are still looking at your social media channels. So if you've got an ad running and you haven't posted a, a recent update on Facebook for three months, um, you know, it totally doesn't make sense to the customer. So the other one would be invest in some one-on-one -on -one coaching or training. So, um, that you can be managing these ads confidently um, and understand the platform. So then you can be looking at um, knowing what's performing best um, and what copy and creative works as well. Uh, the fourth one, I think I'm up to four, um, would be is investing in some either video or, you know, great quality photos. Um, if you are just taking photos of your products on your phone, um, I would definitely recommend investing in that. Awesome, um, even some creative and graphic design work for your ads as well because that can definitely help um, with conversions. And uh, the fifth one would be is um, making the most of your custom audiences. So um, retargeting to your website traffic, making the most of your email list. So yeah, they're, they're my five top five. Amazing. So, so helpful. Um, I, one question that's just kind of come to me now, but um, what sort of ads do you think work best? Like something with a really strong call to action or with a brand message or a video or a photo of people like what sort of ads do you think work best yep that's a great question um obviously it depends on the the goal of that that ad um but if you're looking for conversions um obviously having a call to action a strong call to action is vital um you know adding that shop now button um, you know, adding shop now in your, your text as well and a link um, will definitely help those conversion rates. Um, when it comes to um, having thinking about your creative and your copy, um, when you're putting together an ad in Facebook Ads Manager, um, it gives you a great little preview to, so you can see what the ad is going to look like. Um, and a good, um, good way to, to have a think about how that ad um, is actually going to sit within the platform. So, you know, imagine yourself scroll, you know, scrolling through your phone um, and seeing that ad pop up, you know, is that going to make you want to click that button? So um, that's a really good one. And, you know, I'm finding that video and carousels work really well because they're interactive. Um, they help with the engagement because you're actually um, asking people to, to, to click across to scroll or click a button. So, um, something interactive, um, bright colours of, often stand out in the, the news feed as well. So, um, yeah, those are sort of general ones that I find convert well. Amazing. Thank you so much, Ali. You've given so much information. It's been really helpful. It's made me want to go out and start doing a bit more trading on Facebook ads. I used to do Facebook advertising in my corporate job, but it was definitely very ad hoc and um, just posting whatever I kind of felt like or whatever promos we had running, that sort of thing. Um, but how can people find more about you um, if they want to start following you? No worries. Um, so my website is uh, just the W's, societystate.com.au. Uh, my Facebook handle is Society State Digital um, and you can find me on Insta um, just at Society State. Fantastic. Cool. I'll pop all that stuff in the description below. Um, but thanks so much for coming on, Ali. Bye. No worries. Bye. So how great is Ali? I found her interview so, so helpful. And she shared so much information, right? I think it's really important for you guys to really focus on your target market and exactly what who you're trying to target with any ads that you do because you can easily overspend and under deliver. So either do some training or use a Facebook ads manager like Ali to help you out. Comment below if you got something out of this video. I hope that it was a really useful one for you and that Facebook advertising is something you might like look into further in the future. So that's it for me for another day. Please consider subscribing as I release new videos every Tuesday, which range from tutorials on Instagram strategy to 
uh, interviews like this one. So there's a lot of different content on here that I know you're gonna get a lot out of. So if you're looking for another video to watch, I highly recommend my interview with brand photographer Amanda from Plush Content Co, who shares a lot of useful tips on taking photos for your Instagram account and building that brand profile. So watch that one right now. But that's it for me for today. So until next time, bye for now.